What's going on, y'all? This your man, Pristine, back with another video. I introduced to you the Sony Xperia XA1. Now, this is Sony's new mid-range phone that they released here in 17 recently. Now, this phone, along with two other um, uh, uh, Sony products, were introduced at Mobile World Congress earlier in the year, early 2017. Um, again, as I just mentioned, this is the mid-ranger, the XA1. Now, there's the entry-level phone, which is the Sony Xperia L1. That's going to cost you $199. This is going to run you $299. We've got the Xperia XA1 Ultra, which hasn't come out yet, which is kind of strange because I know normally they, you know, they uh, they ship the phones at the same time. You know, the only difference is just a difference in size and a few specs, but we'll talk about that a little later in the video. And then there's the big boy, of course, the flagship, the new Sony XZ Premium. That's going to run you... Um, a full $799 so plus tax you're going to be out the door like $850 and some change now um, there is a $100 difference between the XA1 which is what this is and the XA1 Ultra the Ultra is $399 as I mentioned we'll talk about those differences later on in the video now just to kind of run down the spec sheet real quick to give you guys an idea of what this phone is packing um, we've got a 5.2 inch full HD 720 IPS LCD panel uh, we've got 720 by 1280 pixels. We've got 32 gigs of onboard storage, 3 gigs of RAM. We're running Android 7.0 fresh out of the box. For our techies out there, we got a pixel density of 294 PPI. We've got a MediaTek Helio P20 processor. We've got a Mali T88 Zero MP2 GPU. Okay, we've got a micro SD card slot that supports uh, expandable memory up to 256 gigs. We do have NFC present, so all you people that like to use Android Pay, you will be able to do so on this device. That's a good look. On the rear, we've got a 23 megapixel um, rear facing camera that is f2.0 aperture, 24 millimeter sensor. Uh, the selfie camera is an 8 megapixel selfie cam that also has an f2.0 aperture that uh, has a 20 three millimeter sensor. So the sensor size on the rear camera is 24. The sensor size on the selfie cam is 23 millimeters. We do have type C USB uh, for charging. Um, it does support quick charge or Sony's quick charge is called uh, Pump Express Plus 2.0. So we've got type C that supports Pump Express Plus 2.0. That's Sony's quick charge technology's name pump express plus all right that's 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 a little different um and we have a non-removable 2300 milliamp hour battery okay the colors that you can get this phone in are white black which is what this one is all black everything you guys already know no races um you can get it in gold and pink as well now um i know that some of you after reading those specs some of you guys are gonna just immediately bash the battery and I would recommend that you get this phone in your hand and you test it first the reason why this particular device does not need a huge battery is because you know for one it's a small device okay it's a 5.2 inch display and it's a small footprint you know um, again the display is a is a is a 720 display you know it's not a full 1080p HD display it's not running a quad HD or 4k display so you know uh, it's not running like a powerhouse type of screen where it's going to need, you know, that big battery to help generate the, the, the color reproduction and the overall picture quality on one of those higher ends, uh, higher end displays. Um, and the, the Helio P20 processor is a pretty efficient processor, you know, especially with battery life. I mean, so, you know, um, you know, it, it just everything just comes together and it works nice and smooth. Um, I've had this phone for about three or four days now. I've taken it with me on the go. I am using it as my daily driver. This is a GSM device, and so it can be used with AT&T, T-Mobile, Cricket Wireless, Metro PCS, and any other uh, GSM network that you can think of. It will not work with Verizon, Sprint, Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, uh, Mobile, or any other CDMA carrier that you can think of. Okay, now back to the battery life real quick. For me, I don't do a lot of downloading. You know, so mainly what I do is I talk, I text, I stream music on, on Spotify, um, and 
I watch video content on YouTube. You know, my sync, my auto sync is always turned off. I don't sync my emails. When I want to check my email, I get to a computer, you know, or I'm always at work where there's computers all around me. You know, I can, you know, check my email, my work email, my personal email, all those things. And so maybe that's something that you guys want to be mindful of too. If you want to also conserve battery, turn off, you know, turn off auto sync. Because every time a new email comes, it notifies you. All those notifications that you get, it fries your battery, you know? Um, so now real quick, let's just take a quick tour of the device. Um, as you can see, beautiful device. You know, some people may slander the fact that, or may slam the fact that it's a fully square device. To me, I think that's, I think that that's one of his top most stunning features. Um, I saw this phone on bestbuy.com and I looked it up online and I read a bunch of the specs and I was planning on buying the phone. I just didn't realize at the time when I was in Best Buy the other day that they had actually had the phone. Okay. I saw it on, dis on display. Never seen it before. As soon as I saw it, the phone jumped out at me. It hit me. And I was like, what in the hell is that? You know, I gravitated to it immediately. I went and grabbed it. I saw the Sony branding right here at the top looked at the sticker and yes sony xa1 this is a beautiful beautiful looking device um i love the fact that it's squared it doesn't look like anything else on the market so when you see this particular orientation you know that it's a sony phone okay now i have seen some that are pretty ugly looking but this particular one you know to me it just looks dope in my opinion you know that's just my personal opinion you, you may not agree but to me, it looks dope. A lot of these phones, they look exactly the same, you know, the same dimensions, same, you know, uh, curvy corners, you know, you know, I, I like this. This looks different. And, you know, since I've had it, as soon as I pull it out of my pocket, you know, people, they see it and they're just like, oh, my God, what is that? You know, people, they love it, you know. Um, so, again, you can see we've got the 5.2 inch display. Go ahead and zoom in the top there we've got the 8 megapixel selfie camera we've got a couple proximity sensors in between the camera and the sony branding right there now not sure if you guys can see i'll turn the phone to the side really quickly you can see the receiver right there at the top of the phone that's where all the sound comes from when you're actually talking on the device um now to the bottom of the phone you can also see there's another little slit right there on the bottom right there which indicates uh dual front facing speakers okay now to the right of the phone, you'll see we've got the dedicated camera shutter button. I mean, so this is the this is the button that you press when you're taking photos. Um, you still will have the red dot on the screen if you want to take a photo. But with this particular button, the phone has autofocus. But if you just want to focus a little more before you take that photo, right? You just gently press the button, and it causes the sensor to focus a tad bit more. And then you give it a nice firm press to actually take the photo. That's a pretty dope little feature. OK, now I do also love the fact that we got all the buttons on one side, which is the right side, because your thumb, depending on I mean, if you hold your phone with your right hand, your thumb is going to sit comfortably on the power button here and the volume markers right there. OK, and I also like the fact that, you know, the power button, you know, it's not black with no rigidity. It is, you know, silver and it's a circle. So if you're fumbling around with this phone in your pocket and you happen to feel these buttons, I mean, you know exactly what you're pressing, you know, without even having to look at it. All right. Now to the top of the phone, you see we've got nothing. It's just a nice, smooth, nice and smooth across the top. Um, noise canceling microphone right there. Um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here. Um, you got to mention that nowadays because a lot of phones are doing without them. To the left of the phone, all we've got is the SIM tray, which does support dual nano SIMs. And this is also where you would put an SD card for uh, memory expansion up to 256 gigs now bottom of the phone we've got the usb type c connector and we've got a uh, bottom firing speaker now this is interesting okay because it has it, it, it appears as though we've got two front facing speakers but then on the bottom here we've got a bottom firing speaker so I wonder if this speak this this little slit down here on the bottom is that an actual speaker or is it just for looks? Now I know that this phone, you know, Sony put some emphasis on the audio quality. I mean, so it could just have it could just be a three speaker setup. I mean, you can really get into this phone, customize the sound. You know, there's different presets. There's an equalizer. Um, 
And so I'm not sure um, uh, the capacity of the DAC, but I know that Sony have some kind of audi uh, some audio quality technology that you can tweak uh, for your liking to get you know optimum sound from you know your headphone or Bluetooth devices that you connect to this device. Um, now swinging around to the back of the phone, you'll see that we've just got the Xperia branding right there. We've got the NFC logo, so I believe that's where you tap um, if you're transferring information. We've got the LED flash right there, and we've also got the 23 uh, megapixel uh, rear-facing camera. All right. Now, another thing that I don't really like about this particular vice switch to wide angle is there's no fingerprint sensor. There is no fingerprint sensor. It's like Sony. What the hell, man? It's 2017. Okay? They didn't put a fingerprint sensor on this or the Ultra. Now, the fingerprint sensor is on the XZ Premium, the flagship. You know, the one that's going to cost you 800 bucks. You know, the fingerprint sensor is right here on the side. And it's one of those buttons where when you push it, then it reads your thumbprint as well. And, um, and it unlocks the phone in a very snappy fashion. They could have implemented that on this particular phone too. That's the only thing that is missing from this particular device. You know, the three or four days that I've had this phone, I've been using it as my daily driver, as I've mentioned earlier in the video, and I'm loving it. You know, I like how lightweight it is. I like how sleek it is. I love the boxy feel to it. It's got a nice and snappy performance. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the phone. <clears throat> it's got a nice snappy performance. You know, apps, when you open them up, I mean, they respond immediately. Okay, so now um, this is my home screen. This is where I keep all of my folders and then all of the excess apps. You know, I just keep on different pages. Um, but you can see, um, you know, the screen is beautiful. You don't need a 4K display. You don't need a quad HD display or hell, you don't even need a full 1080p display. This is a 720 display and it looks damn good. Now. This is Android 7.0, so you already know when you swipe down once, it brings you to your notification shade, and then you've got your, what, your one, two, three, four, five, six, you've got um, uh, five quick toggles, you know, and then when you swipe down again, then that's how you access, you know, all of your toggle, your quick toggles right there. This is very close to a stock Android experience. There is not a lot of bloatware on this device. Now, again, it's a Sony phone. So Sony, they've got a few things on there, but it's not a lot. They don't overwhelm you with bloatware on this particular device. So this is very close to a stock Android experience. All right. So those are your quick toggles right there. Here's some notification shade. Now, if you swipe to the right, it will bring up your Google Assistant page and just, you know, a lot of information that you that you look you know look for on Google or a lot of the things that you look for the most those things are going to be presented here you know whether it be the weather you know look honor 8 pro mini review a copycat design you know I, I get a lot of information about phones video games um, you know, a, a lot of the stuff from E3 that just recently happened. You know, I'm a Florida State Seminole fan, so I get a lot of Florida State football information here. Um, just pretty much anything you want. You know, Google, they they plug you, you know. Now, you'll see with the screen, when it goes from left to right, we're talking about a near bezel-less experience, okay? The bezels are extremely thin side to side. Now, that's not the same vertically. And I wish that it was only because, you know, we are living in a day and age where phones are becoming bezel-less, right? You know, you've got the you've got the G6, you've got the S8 and the S8 Plus here in a couple of weeks. We're going to have the Essential phone, which is another bezel-less display. Um, it appears as though, you know, we're going to have some more bezel-less displayed phones later on in the year, you know, with the iPhone 8 or the 7S and, or 7S Plus, whatever they're going to call it. Um, and, you know, there's some other... Um, some little more budget-friendly uh, OEMs that are making phones that also are going to have bezel-less disp uh, displays. So, um, you know, it's, it's it's an exciting time for, you know, for um, <clears throat> uh, for for uh, cell phone innovation. You know, a lot of these phones they look exactly the same, and so I like different. That's another one of the main reasons why I like this. Um, just because, you know, it's squared. I mean, this it just has its own distinct look. I mean, you look at this and you know, okay, yeah, that's a Sony phone. But it's 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 polished a little better than last year's version. 
you know so even though they look similar i mean you definitely can tell the difference between looking at the xa from last year and then looking at the xa one here okay now you do at the bottom you know you see you've got the big chin and the big forehead now i think that they could do without the big chin right here because there's nothing there i mean they could have put a fingerprint sensor right here you know what i mean so i just kind of feel like it's it's a little bit of a waste of space um but you know maybe they get the type c connector there you know and you know whatever speaker technology that they've got in here maybe they needed to utilize this space down here i'm not exactly sure um but again, I mean, all in all, I mean, it's it, it's a very gorgeous phone. I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it. All right. Now, you guys see just scrolling through the device, nice and snappy. I am connected to my Wi-Fi at home, but it runs just as smooth, um, if not a little smoother on my 4G LTE connector or connect um, connection. My apologies. Let's open up some apps here. I'll open up the Bible app. Zoom in on that real quick. You guys already know, man. You know I'm going to give you that word. You know I'm going to give you that word. Go ahead and pause that. Go ahead and pause that and get that get that, get that, that spiritual uh, fulfillment. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's take a Netflix real quick. You know, just open up some apps real quick just to, you know, give you guys an idea how snappy it is. Um, and then just, you know, get a bunch of apps opened up. And just to see how the phone performs, you know, with a bunch of apps open in the background. Uh, man, I can't believe that this Mayweather and Conor McGregor fight is actually going to happen. I am a huge fan of combat sports. I love boxing. I love MMA, you know. And I got to say right now, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys are going to not dis... A lot of you guys are going to disagree with me, all right? But Conor McGregor is about to get dealt with in this fight. Floyd is too much, man. Floyd is too much, and I will argue this to the bitter end. You know what I'm saying? Those that agree or disagree, man, let me know in the comments, man. Floyd is about to have that boy's head, you know? Uh, now, but it's a smart move either way for McGregor because he's walking away with the biggest payday ever, you know? So, I, you know, hey, if I was getting paid as much money as these boys was getting paid, I'll step in the ring with Floyd. I'll step in the ring right now with Floyd because off that one fight, I'm set for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know, so Connor, he know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's a businessman just like Floyd is. All right. All right. We'll cancel that. Let's get out of that. Oh, we just went off road. My chart. Like I said, I'm just picking random apps, y'all, just to open up real quick. You know, so you can see how snappy they open up. Samsung Health. Okay, let's go to Uber. Deny. Because I don't like being tracked. Let's go to PlayStation. Now, another thing that I like about the Sony phones, too, is you guys already know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm a gamer. I'm a big-time gamer. You know, PS4 Pro all day. I don't give a damn about no Xbox One X. You know what I'm saying? Show me some games, man. You got to show me more than two games. Now, I got to admit, man, that Metro Exodus in that game Anthem, oh, man, that shit looked dope. That shit looked dope. And if them games look just like they looked at E3, oh, I'm copping the Xbox One X for sure. But right now, man, the PlayStation 4 and the, and the 4 Plus is still the reigning champion. The reigning champion. All them games that are coming out that we've got look, got to look forward to. Oh, my goodness, man. Microsoft can't touch them right now. Those of y'all that agree or disagree, let me know in the comments about that. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation. You know, I like the integration here, you know, with the Sony phone, how you can interact with the PlayStation. Um, I like that. You know, I like that. All right. Now, so we go to the Recents app. Now, you'll see. Flipping through all these apps that are open. Let's see. Let's go back to the Bible. Boom. There it is. Uh, let's go back to Samsung gear. Boom. There it is. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to Offer Up. Boom. There it is. So, you guys get the idea, man. You know, scrolling through apps, not a problem. Take the settings real quick. Typical settings. 
list view you know they don't give you the option like the LG devices do but you know you can't expect all these phones to do the same things even though a lot of them do do the same things I would like for you know to have the option to switch to the tab view because I like the tab view I'm not really a big fan of the list view here but you know it is what it is all right um, so yeah man you know, so far so good with this particular device. That's all I got for you guys right now, man. This is the new Sony Xperia XA1. Oh, you know what, man? Let me, let me, I'm tripping, man. Let me, let me show you guys. Let me take it to the camera real quick. All right, hold on. Let me unlock the phone. Okay. Now, for my photos, I just took this picture not too long ago. All right. So here's a, here's a selfie cam picture. Okay, this is me. You know, I was recording not too long ago. And uh, this is with the 8 megapixel selfie cam on this phone. Again, looking at these photos through the lens of the G6 here does not do these photos justice. Sony has always put major emphasis on photography in their devices. You know, so, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it yeah. They're solid, solid cameras. Now this, this was taken with the rear facing camera. Now look at this. This is my, you know, I got babies in the house, y'all. This is Daniel the Tiger, one of their little favorites. A little giraffe right here. And my one year old. True to life colors. Nice and sharp, vivid. Doesn't seem to be overexposed. Doesn't seem washed out. It's just nice. It's, it's just a beautiful picture. You know, colors look true to life. Um, now, stay tuned for the full pristine review where there will be some uh, some additional uh, camera samples, you know, uh, in bright light, low light. Um, and I'm also going to have some video footage as well with both the rear facing and the uh, selfie camera. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, man, this is the Sony Xperia XA1. Now, again, I mentioned this is going to run you $299. You've got the XA1 Ultra, which is going to be coming out here, I believe, in the next few days. Um, that's going to run you $399. Now, real quick, the differences. This is a 5.2-inch display. The Ultra is a 6-inch display. This has an 8-megapixel selfie camera. The Ultra has a 16-megapixel selfie camera. This has a 2300 milliamp hour non-removable battery. The Ultra has a 27 100 milliamp hour non-removable battery. This phone has three gigs of RAM. The Ultra has four gigs of RAM. Okay, this has a full HD. My bad, y'all had a notification coming in. This phone has a full HD 720 display. The Ultra has a full HD 1080 display. So those are the differences right there, you know. So, I mean, again, it, it just boils down to, do you guys want the smaller version or do you guys want the larger version? If you don't like bigger phones, then this phone is going to be perfect for you. I think that this is a perfect form factor, even for me. You know, I'm small in stature. I've got small hands. I've always liked big phones. So, I'm, of course, I'm going to go ahead and snatch the Ultra just because big phones is what I do, you know. But this, this is a perfect size. You know, carrying it around, it's lightweight. It's not going to feel like you've got a brick in your pocket, you know. Um, and again, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's a head turner. Every time I pull this out of my pocket, people are like, damn, yo, what is that? You know, and I tell them, oh man, it's that new Sony, yo, you ain't know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what you got? What you got? Oh, you got the iPhone. What you got? What you got? A Samsung. Man, everybody got that shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got this. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the main things that I love about being a reviewer, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you do the homework and you just get so much information about all these different phones that are coming out. Man, I done had phones that cats ain't never seen and heard of, man. And it's funny because at work, oh man, everybody be running up to me. They got questions about their phone. And I love to help people. They got questions about their phone. Every week, they're like, what you got new? What you got new? You know, because we know you ain't got the same phone you had last week. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm always swapping phones. You know what I'm saying? But again, too, just being a reviewer, you know, I have a very unbiased opinion. I love all the operating systems. Some I like a little better than others. You know, I like iOS. I like Android. Hell, I like Windows Mobile. You know what I'm saying? I just think there need to be more app implementation in the Windows Store. You know what I'm saying? So I like all these different, you know, uh, operating systems, all the different offerings. I just love tech. You know what I'm saying? 
But even some of the hottest phones when they come out and everybody's all amped up about them, you know, the G6, the the, the S8, the S8 Plus, right? Those were big releases and a lot of people are still amped up about those phones and they should be. They're good devices, right? But somebody like me who is a reviewer, man, it's like, you know, man, the thrill is gone. <laughs> the thrill is gone, baby. <laughs> Woo, I had to sing it to you. The thrill is gone, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, man, G6, cool. I mean, that's my ride or die. You know, S8, S8 Plus, cool. But man, I'm down the road. You know what I'm saying? I ain't in love with any of these devices. I get them, I'm excited for them, and then I'm ready to move on. Right now, I'm on my Xperia kick right now, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and and and, and stay tuned, you know, there's gonna be definitely much more to come. You know what I'm saying? So again, this is the XA of the Sony Xperia XA1 new mid-range device you can cop this right now $299 at your local best buy store you also can cop this on amazon for the same price stay tuned for the ultra i'm gonna have the sony xperia xa ultra also on the channel here in a few days when it drops so stay tuned for that video and man you guys already know man please stay safe get right with god if you haven't already and keep him first in your life and all your endeavors and definitely stay pristine until the next video, y'all. Holla. Peace.